Hello everybody, this is Arebs US here, and today I would like to talk about what you can do if you've forgotten your password for Windows. Uh, in this example, we have a Windows 2019 server that you can't log into. Uh, it happens to more people than you might think. Uh, it's even worse if you're actually the administrator. Uh, but what I'm talking about actually applies to pretty much any Windows computer, uh, whether you're working from home or if you're a student, uh, working for the office or a system administrator. Uh, so check this out. I don't know my password. I cannot log in. I forgot my password. I don't know what. Maybe someone has hacked me and uh, I don't know the password. It's been changed. So what can you do? Um, you know, there's different options and I'm going to talk about the solution that I created uh, to solve that problem. Okay, so generally what you have to do though is remove or reset the password. And there's not an easy thing to do if you don't know how to log in. And we're going to look at a few different options and particularly uh, the one that I, I've made here. Uh, but there are many ways to get in. Uh, I think it's more desirable though to just be able to log in uh, without any hassle and remove the passwords. And so that's the solution I favor because if you try making a password reset disk from Microsoft, um, you actually cannot do that. Uh, so for example, here, if you wanted to reset your password, you could if you had already made a password reset disk from Microsoft. Okay, but most people don't do that. And if you had done that, you wouldn't be watching this video. Uh, so you're in the majority. Not many people make a password reset disk or know where that is even if they made it. Okay, so there's something we can do here. In this solution, what you're gonna do is you would download a software uh, like this one here, and you would either uh, burn it to a CD or load it to a USB thumb drive. After that, uh, you would then take it back to this computer that you have the problem with. And then basically what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to uh, boot that software, okay? And it's actually another operating system that basically accesses your Windows. It accesses what's called the SAM file where the password is stored and it removes and unlocks all the passwords. Okay, so basically what you do is you'd have a screen like this, you'd hit escape for your boot menu, uh, maybe hit F8 or F10, it depends on your computer. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you can check your computer manual or motherboard manual and it will tell you. There's also some websites that give you links to that tell you uh, what the most common keys are to enter this boot menu. Uh, so in my case, I'm going to say that I want CD. I've loaded uh, a CD-ROM here. Uh, this also works for virtual machines, okay? And what I like, what I like about the solution also that it basically supports all computers, uh, old and new, uh, straight from uh, Windows NT all the way up to Windows 10 and Windows 2019 server. Uh, so once you hit 4 there, as you can see, it's booting up here. It's loading the ISO in this case. Uh, like I said, works with uh, VMware and Zen, KVM, basically all the virtualization that's out there. Okay, so we're just going to do all of its uh, loading here. And this is what I love about it. That's why I made it this way. Uh, it, you don't have to type anything. I'm not typing anything here. Uh, it's already done. All right. What it does is it finds your Windows install. Uh, it mounts it. It finds your password file. It finds all the accounts and removes all passwords uh, for all accounts. So, for example, it removed it for administrator, default account, guest, and WDAGU utility account. Okay, so it's done it for all of them. And, and that's the beauty and uh, why I like it here. Um, after that, we just reboot back into Windows and it just loads uh, pretty much instantly. And that's all there is to it. Uh, and that's why I'm fond of this solution. I'm not saying it's the only solution out there. There's many ways of getting back into your computer, all depending on your situation. Uh, so if you have a different situation, feel free to comment uh, below and let me know what your situation is. Uh, but with regards to the situation, there is pretty much a few common things that we can do. I'll make another video that tells you kind of a comprehensive list of things you can do. Uh, a lot of the other solutions are a lot more involved and more uh, you know, on the level of a system administrator. Okay, but with that said, there are many things you can do. I hope this video has been helpful though to show you one solution that, that I've made and that I use out there uh, in the real world. I think it saves me time and hassle if I ever come across uh, any machines like this. Uh, so thank you for watching and see you next time.